are widely used in uh, as a characterizing tool in many materials labs. Okay, to measure the type of material concentration. Now, about 100 years later, um, this uh, von Krissing uh, in Germany, he found that when you apply a strong magnetic field to uh, two-dimensional electron gas uh, in the uh, Hessel structure of semiconductor, he found that uh, uh, originally when the magnetic field is small, it's, it's still uh, ordinarily hold like linearly proportional to magnetic field. But when, as you further increase magnetic field, <coughs> this whole resistance becomes like a, a, a stair shape, okay? And uh, he also found that actually this uh, uh, state, this plateau has a value of uh, uh, inverse of integer and multiplied by uh, H uh, divided by E squared. And this is now called uh, one increasing constant. <coughs> And the surprisingly, this constant is so precise that uh, it's, uh, it, the error can only be one in uh, one billion, okay? So 10 to minus nine. And so this uh, is being used to, uh, a, to, uh, to, uh, to, be, uh, to measure some fundamental constant like uh, uh, fine structure. And also, uh, he found that uh, uh, in this plateau area, and then the resistance will be zero, okay? So, uh, so this is the uh, amazing, uh, 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 now knowing as the uh, English quantum Hall effect. Okay, so uh, now the question here is that we have res zero resistance. Is this superconductor or, uh, or not, okay? So, um, however, it's actually insulating phase because if you uh, are con conducting is inverse of resistance tensor. So, if we have this kind of resistance and then we have zero uh, uh, conductance uh, along the longitudinal direction, so it's actually insulating uh, uh, state. Okay. Now, uh, so this is really amazing. You have uh, 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 insulating phase, but it has uh, 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 transverse resistance, which is contacts. Okay, so then we are naturally asked how this come about. Okay, then you uh, one can begin to understand this uh, by uh, working out the uh, 2D electron gas under influence of uh, strong magnetic field, and it is well known that the uh, 2D electron gas in the strong magnetic field will form discrete lambda level. Okay. Now with this, then people can understand that uh, if Fermi level is within this gap, then this phase would be insulated. Okay, and that's what we found. And uh, then as you increase the uh, magnetic field, and you can see that uh, this gap is uh, proportional to magnetic field, and then the lambda level will move up close to the Fermi level, and then, uh, uh, it, well, the, the amazing thing is that uh, this plateau actually uh, corresponding to uh, uh, to this uh, the, the number of lambda level, okay. As you increase the uh, the magnetic field, the lambda level below the Fermi becomes smaller and smaller, and so we are moving up uh, towards this uh, eventually. Shall we go to uh, uh, Z equal to uh, J equal to zero plateau, okay? So uh, so that's uh, and that's the basically phenomenological. Uh, explanation of why the, the, the lambda level, uh, uh, the, we see this uh, contacts uh, for uh, resistance and also why it's insulating along the longitudinal direction, okay? So uh, then, uh, now, uh, then people will ask fundamentally why all conductance is uh, quantized, okay? So one year later, or uh, two years later, uh, um, this uh, David Thoros, and he found out that uh, actually this uh, um, quantized uh, integer number can be written as fairly curvature, uh, uh, integrated <coughs> over uh, this uh, two-dimensional Fourier zone. Okay, i.e., this integer is connected to topology of Landau level, and each Landau level has uh, uh, th this topology number is called Chern number. Each Landau level has uh, uh, one Chern number. So that's why 
you have this uh, 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 this uh, quantized uh, all. So if uh, if Fermi level is here, we have uh, one, two, three, four. So then the conductance would be four times this uh, e squared divided by h. Okay. So this is actually the first realization that uh, actually quantum tor system is uh, a topological system. Okay. And the quantum or if I, uh, quantum hall insulating system is the first topological material in, in, the, in the current terminology, okay? And uh, then the question is, uh, um, we have a bulk insulating state and the zero conductance. How come it that we have a, 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 a transverse uh, conduct, non-zero transverse conduct, conductance, okay? So this is uh, uh, puzzling. And, uh, and to, to understand that, and we have to, to know that, uh, you know, in physics, physics is an experimental uh, branch of science, okay? So to do a measurement, you need to cut this infinite two-dimensional system into finite systems in order to measure, to, to measure anything, okay? So that's, uh, that's what he's showing here. For example, if you want to do a ball measurement, then you need to cut from a, a two-dimensional system into this uh, finite size whole bar, okay? Then the answer is because and in this kind of topological non-trivial system, you have metallic edge state, okay? So this was first pointed out by uh, Bob Lafrey in 1981, uh, first uh, already one year after one Christian find. He used the uh, so-called uh, gauge invariant argument and, and the Gedanken experiment looked like that. And then he argued that the, uh, 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 because uh, uh, gauge invariant, so um, then uh, we have this uh, 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 current. And the current, uh, uh, then you, if you uh, uh, apply this uh, flux in, flux can only change by uh, some uh, fraction of the, uh, some integer number of uh, this phi zero, okay? And then you, it, then you have this uh, 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 charge transport from one end to another, okay? And uh, this argument was elaborated by Hubbard, and uh, he uh, more clearly illustrated that because we have this uh, lambda level below the Fermi level, however, when you create an edge, and this lambda level will bend and go through the Fermi level, and this becomes metallic edge. Okay, so that's one way to understand why we have insulating phase, but uh, it conducts uh, 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 along the transverse direction. Okay, so. And uh, there are different ways to see this. One is so-called bulk edge correspondent theorem, okay? Now, because uh, David Gorris already pointed out that uh, this quantum hall system is actually topological non-trivial system. Now, then, if one uses topology theory uh, applied to, to electronic band, and then it tells you that uh, when you move from one topological system to another. And this band, uh, if this uh, uh, topological invariant number of these two systems are different, then this uh, uh, insulating phase, we, uh, uh, as we cross the boundary, must, uh, the gap must close in order to enter to another system, okay? So in our case, we are, enter we are if we're going from here to here, basically we, going from this 2D electron gas to vacuum, which has a zero chain number, okay? And in this system, if Fermi level is, uh, 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 as I say, uh, J equal to four, then we have uh, 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 chain number equal to four, okay? That's why we have this uh, uh, metallic edge state, okay? And actually the chain number, uh, gap chain number is equal to the edge, edge state we have, exactly uh, equal to the number of metallic edge state. So this is truly peculiar and amazing uh, theorem, which is, so basically dictates that uh, if it, instead of just calculating band structure, if you also calculate topology number, and then if you make this system uh, 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 finite, then you will see a uh, metallic edge state, okay? So this is second argument that uh, for a topological non-trivial system, you, you, you are guaranteed to have uh, a metallic edge state. Now, the third argument is uh, brutal force, okay? You basically calculate a finite two-dimensional uh, gas system 
and then you will find that uh, we have bulk energy bank. But in between this bulk energy bank gap, you will see this edge state. Okay, so this is a brutal for uh, band structure calculation. So from all three angles, we see that uh, uh, quantum enormous uh, quantum force system is really amazing. We have insulating topological non-trivial phase, but the edge is a metallic. Okay, and uh, now uh, one important feature is this metallic is displacement because for, uh, it has only one way to go, no way to turn back. Okay, so in principle, uh, so quantum hall I find not only can be used to to measure fundamental constant, but also uh, for low power electronics. Okay, so that's uh, uh, become very uh, amazing. So cartoonly, you can see that uh, because strong magnetic field, the electron cannot move, can only do a circular motion. However, on the edge, you see that uh, because Lorentz fault, uh, electron can only go forward. Uh, in this way, it can only go backward. So we have this uh, chiral uh, current. Okay. So then, uh, uh, the question is, uh, we observe this quantum hall effect only at a very low temperature and a very strong magnetic field. So if we want to have any application, and uh, that's uh, very difficult, then immediately people ask, can we have uh, high temperature integer quantum hall effect without a magnetic field, uh, in particular strong magnetic field? Actually, uh, 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 soon after this observation, people, theoreticians, always think of this kind of possibility. However, nobody pay attention until uh, in the last decade, people start to think about topological material. But before I talk about this work, let's, uh, let me introduce two, uh, uh, two Hall effects without applied magnetic field. The first one is so-called enormous Hall effect. Actually, two years after Hall found uh, his Hall, ordinary Hall effect, he also found that uh, instead of non-magnetic conductor, now you have magnetic conductor, okay? So then, if you apply the, uh, a current, and he found that even you take a magnetic field away, you still have a whole voltage across this uh, sample, okay? Then, where this come from? He did not know that, because at that time, it's only 1881. So quantum mechanics and special relativity hasn't been invented, okay? So now we understand that the, this is due to electron relative interaction, i.e. spin off coupling and uh, 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 net magnetization, okay? So maybe uh, there are a lot of students over there. So if we pick up a Jefferson textbook and the uh, special relative tell you everything is relative, okay? Uh, distance, time uh, become relative if system is moving. Now suppose we in this uh, uh, classroom, we have static electric field applied across the Then a charged particle with a spin is moving. And then special relativity will tell you that uh, this particle not only see electric field you apply, but also see fictitious magnetic field, which is given by this formula. Okay? And then we, we know that if particle has spin, then naturally his spin will couple to the magnetic field he sees. Okay? Even though it's fictitious. And then you, you transform this uh, uh, electric field as a gradient of potential and uh, for atomic system because we have spherical symmetry. And this uh, relative spin of interaction can be written as uh, spin of electron coupled with uh, uh, angular moment. That's why we call spin of coupling. And because of this spin of coupling, and then we we'll see that electron goes through this sample and uh, it, will, it will be diffracted to different sides depending on the spin, this spin direction, okay? For example, in a fellow magnetic material, we know that, that there are more electrons with spin up than spin down. So that's why when uh, we apply an electric current, more electrons with spin up will accumulate here and then spin down. Now, electron is naturally charged, so we have a uh, whole voltage across from here to here, okay? So that's uh, quality theory we know that's uh, how enormous Hall effect appear. And this effect is without applied magnetic field. Okay, now in 1971, two Soviet scientists, Dyer Konov and uh, Pele uh, Perot, they realized that instead of fellow magnetic material, we go back to non-magnetic one. So in this case, 
we have equal spin, electron with spin up and uh, uh, equal number of electron with spin down. Then we have no <coughs> charge uh, current and no hole voltage. But you can see that the electron with a spin will go in that way, electron with a spin down go in this way. Effectively, we see so-called pure spin current. Okay, and this is now known as uh, uh, what we call a spin hole effect. Okay, now uh, in 1979, nobody probably heard spin trunk, so nobody interested in this kind of uh, theoretical uh, proposal. Okay, so. Then in uh, 2003 or four, uh, three, so uh, two groups, one is uh, Nagaosa group from Tokyo University and uh, Zhang Soucheng from Stanford University. They realized that uh, in this typical gary Masnai semiconductor, um, if you take, if you calculate relative band structure, and near gamma point, we can, read, we can write this band structure in terms of our large energy model, and from this large energy model, and you find that uh, uh, electron velocity acquire another term, which is called anomalous velocity, which uh, turned out to be uh, perpendicular to applied electric field. Okay, so then you can imagine that uh, if you use this uh, anomalous velocity expression into semiconductor transport, you will find that uh, in addition to longitudinal uh, conductance, you will also see. A, a, a current transverse to you apply electric field and so uh, well also a spin so then this is called intrinsic spin hole effect okay now this uh, things developed very quickly so uh, then one year later this was observed by uh, Santa Barbara uh, David Ashram group okay so this uh, beautifully demonstrate that uh, we have spin up electron accumulate on the right hand side spin down on the left hand side. Now, then some people will ask, can we have quantized version of spin hole effect? Okay, so as I said, this field at that time moved very, very fast. Okay, so these smart people, Ken, Charlie Kang and uh, Melly, his uh, uh, mentor, I guess, and uh, they immediately uh, constructed a model, which is graphene, okay? At that time, graphene hasn't been discovered by uh, and Andre Gant and Nova Cero, okay? He already proposed that uh, in addition to graphing tight binding term, we add uh, a spin orbit coupling term, okay? Which actually, I will go back uh, late, uh, in a minute. So basically on Hodan's uh, uh, earlier model, which is quantum hole effect without applying in the field, okay? With this term, and uh, you'll find that uh, we have uh, uh, non-zero uh, spin churn number, okay? So then we have spin, uh, quantized spin uh, conductance, which is two e over two pi. But the uh, 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 whole conductance, charge whole conductance will be zero because uh, 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 this, uh, 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 this uh, spin churn number uh, uh, different uh, is zero, okay? So uh, of course, uh, later on, then people get interest in that, and, uh, and this just uh, illustrate uh, we we apply this model say, to a graphing ribbon. You find that uh, with spin of coupling, you see this uh, 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 graphing band structure with a uh, uh, very flat edge state. But when you include this spin of coupling, you see that the uh, uh, band gap open in the two D system. However, we have this edge state, and this edge state uh, uh, is actually uh, uh, well, it's indeed uh, localized on the edge, and uh, spin up will go in that way, spin down go in this one. Okay, so this is uh, a quantum spin hole uh, uh, effect. However, we know that the graphene is very light element, and the spin orbit coupling uh, strength is really small, only 0 0.01 uh, milli electron volt, well uh, uh, below the measurable uh, uh, temperature. Okay, so, but nevertheless, this uh, kick off the, the field, immediately, uh, uh, Susan Zhang again, they proposed that to, to observe quantum spin hole effect in heavy uh, 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 semiconductor quantum well, this uh, mercury telluride, okay? Uh, Chair knows this very well, and uh, Professor Leon also knows. So they proposed that uh, 
because this uh, heavy element, we have very large spin orbit coupling, and then he found that if we uh, uh, make a quantum well, and initially if quantum well is narrower, we have this ordinary uh, uh, semiconductor. However, if we increase the, this uh, quantum well, then the band will become inverse. This red one go up and the uh, blue one go down. Okay? Now, this not only just bend inverse. Actually, this is a topological phase transition. Okay? You transfer from topological trivial semiconductor to topological non-trivial semiconductor. And they demonstrate that by calculating uh, a whole conduction. So this is zero in this case, but this is two because we have two channels. Okay? And this, uh, and later on, then he persuade a German group in, uh, in, in Uspur, uh, Morenkamp, uh, everybody know him. And, and so Morenkamp and Su Zhengzhang published a paper in Science saying that uh, indeed they found this uh, uh, quantum spin hole effect or evidence for quantum spin hole effect in this, in this kind of semiconductor quantum work. Okay? And then this also, uh, uh, this quantum spin hole effect found in another system by from Rice University. Okay, now, uh, okay, so because of this topological material work and the quantum spin hole work, so this three condensed matter theories, Su Xuan Zhang, Dan Ken Ho, then I haven't mentioned his work yet, uh, uh, and the Charlie Kemp got this very prestigious theoretical physics prize called the Rocket Metal Prize in 2012. Okay, then, let me uh, quickly review what I said. We have this uh, uh, hole effect and then have quantized version, quantum hole effect. We have, I also mentioned spin hole effect and we have quantized version, quantum spin hole effect, okay? Then um, I also mentioned hole effect without magnetic field, that's called enormous hole effect. So then the naturally people will ask, can we have polytrinity? Okay. I, <laughs> we have this uh, uh, quantized version of pole effect without magnetic field. That's also called spontaneous pole effect. Okay. Of course, answer answer is already uh, is yes. In fact, uh, I mentioned that the Hoden also shared this prize. Okay. But he actually long before current uh, 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 people working on uh, topological pole effect, he already uh, uh, work on it. So soon after quantum hole effect was discovered, as the question I posed, he asked, can we have quantized uh, quantum hole effect without a magnetic field? Okay, so graphene is a very popular model. He, in 1988, he proposed that if we apply a, a very strange magnetic flux, so this, uh, this is graphene lattice, A, A side, B side, okay? And this we divide into, say, hopping from here to here, here to here. And he said that if we apply magnetic flux in this B hole, and then also apply opposite magnetic flux to A hole, and then you can write this, this graphene model as a ordinary tight binding band structure, and this uh, uh, hopping, second year hopping with the magnetic flux effect in group. And this just turned just to break a side, B side symmetry. And then he found that if you saw this, you, you find that uh, this is the phase diagram. In this region, you indeed can have this uh, uh, topological non-trivial insulating phase with a chain number equal to minus one and the plus one. And outside, it's just ordinary insulate. Now, again, at that time, nobody talking about topological material and it's graphene and uh, this will be very difficult to realize. So only uh, uh, 10 years later, and then uh, people in, uh, uh, many, many people in the world already start to, to think, can we have the uh, 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 quantum anomalous hole system, okay? So here I just show <coughs> one of this work. Uh, this work are actually uh, done by uh, Huan Zhong in Institute of Physics in Beijing. They propose that uh, if we dope non-magnetic topological insulate with a 
magnetic impurity like uh, chromium and iron. And uh, by doing first principle calculation, they found that uh, in this uh, chromium and iron system, indeed, you have uh, magnetic topological insulin, which actually is called churn insulin. And then you can have this uh, uh, quantum hall effect without applying magnetic field. Okay, so this is the cartoon picture show how they think that uh, uh, quantum enormous hall effect can occur. So you have this, uh, if you have this uh, non-magnetic material, and then when 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 it becomes magnetic, the band will spread like that, and then you apply a spin orbit coupling, and then gap will open in this region. Okay. Now, if Fermi level is within this gap, and then they calculate uh, a churn number, and they find that uh, uh, this uh, churn number will be non-zero, so it, this would be uh, uh, churn insulin. Okay. Now, this is sometimes. You do things as an act of faith, okay? Uh, some people believe the adaptation, some people don't, okay? But these people believe uh, the adaptation prediction, okay? So this is Xie Xiquan, now he's very famous in Tsinghua University in Beijing. He believes Zhonghuan's prediction, okay? And then work very hard for three years. And uh, they actually to manage it to get this very complicated, complicated sample which is Magnetic topological insulin. Okay? And they found also it's mag become magnetic below 15 Kelvin. And uh, this is what we would expect to see if this is a topological, magnetic topological insulin or chain insulin. So, i.e., you have this uh, uh, quantized conductance uh, within this gap, uh, but zero conductance wi within this gap. Okay? Indeed, they did the measurement. Okay, and that's what they want. So uh, for resistivity, it's uh, quantized within this gap by changing the uh, gate wall, which changes the Fermi level. Okay, but resist uh, resistance is uh, dip, not going to exactly zero within this gap. But if you change to uh, 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 con conducting, you see that we have quantized conductance, which is uh, uh, equal to one. Okay, and uh, uh, con uh, longitudinal conductance go nearly to zero. But I'm not talking about why it's not going exactly to zero. Okay, now yesterday I got uh, this news from president of OCPA, okay, uh, saying that uh, uh, Professor Xie Xiquan in Tsinghua University got uh, this the first prize of this kind. It's called Future Science Prize. Uh, people in, in mainland China call it China Nobel Prize. <laughs> also, <laughs> US $1 million, okay? But anyway, for his uh, outstanding contribution, uh, for his observation of this quantum enormous hole effect, and also, of course, another interesting work is he also observed superconductivity in monolayer uh, 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 ion cylinder on top of uh, uh, strontium titanium or, or in this uh, uh, oxide uh, interface, okay? Now, so is that the end of story? Uh, okay, uh, if that's the end of story, then there will be no talk. Okay. Uh, so the issue, and the people are still working hard, Okay. The issue is, uh, this quantum enormous hall effect observed by uh, Xie Qi is below three, uh, 30 millikelvin. That's very low, like a quantum uh, a hall effect. Okay. And the reason people think it could be due to a small factor, uh, which is tiny, 10 milli electron volt. And weak uh, exchange interaction, that means magnetic coupling, uh, because you don't Topology is uh, which is weak, and that give uh, give you very low well low uh, temperature. Okay, and because you don't conduct with the uh, impurity and that uh, mobility very low, I, I think the chair know very well this is low mobility. Okay, now so to then people a lot of people now working hard on it. Can we have a high temperature uh, uh, quantum enormous force 